Hey everybody, Dragon of the East Blue once again. I'd like to apologize how late this chapter is coming out. I've been really busy lately, um, mostly midterms and just having a lot of people coming in and out of the house. My studio still isn't built yet, so fuck. Hopefully I can do it over the break and uh, make things a little bit easier and hope the chapters come out more on time. Now, let's start off here with Not the Fails of the Week. This is week 43, chapter 577, Sword of Hatred. And just the title doesn't make sense because there aren't any swordsmen in Naruto, so what the fuck. But I do like this chapter because it does bring to light one of the things that pisses me off about Tsunade. And this has been pissing me off for years. And I don't know if you guys have kind of looked at this and go, what? Because it has bugged me a lot and it's pretty obvious and it's constantly being brought into the series, both in the show and into the actual manga. And one of the things here is when Tsunade is explaining about the rules about Medic Nins. When she explains that they're about healing your... Teammates, yes, not allowed to engage in combat, and they should be the last ones to die because of their importance. And this makes sense because you want the medic need to heal your teammates, you don't want them to fight and, and get killed and get injured so they can't even heal others. And, you know, they want, you, just, you need a medic alive, it's basic as that. You want to keep your medic alive to heal your teammates. Simple, and that's it. But, this would make a lot, it's like, this makes a lot more sense if it did not include this next part. And the next part is this. Why does the medical jutsu increase your physical strength tenfold? Why does that happen? And the reason why it's a problem because when you gain all this physical strength, you're thinking, I can fight. And even the dumb bitch Sakura figured this out. That you can fight so you have all this power. And if you can heal yourself, you could probably keep on going. That makes sense, but not to her. And her to keep on spewing this hypocrisy, but not being not being allowed to fight as a medic nin, even when you have all this physical power, is annoying. And her... Being a medic nin and being the Hokage itself is a hypocritical stance. Now, I don't want you guys to start yelling at me and saying, Oh, but she's the Hokage. She needs to fight. She can't fucking fight, okay? Physical strength does not equal to power. It does not equal to technique. It does not equal to actual skill and importance. It's just physical strength. That is it. It is not true power, courage. It's nothing. You can take the strongest motherfucker on the planet, put him in a situation kind of like Tsunade is, and he would still lose. If he has no combat training, no um, martial arts, no idea how to control his power, he's really slow, not fucking worth my time. And that's the thing about Tsunade as well. She's extremely slow. She may have a lot of power, but she's slow. She can't fight. She doesn't know any real techniques. And she would serve her time much better, not behind a desk, being in charge of a country or her village, sorry, that especially when she has a horrible track record with money, she's got a huge debt, so that's not a, you don't want a huge compulsive gambler as your leader. And she should be spending her time training more medic nins to keep other ninjas alive. Put someone who can really fight. That doesn't really exist in Naruto, but anyways, try to put someone there, you know, who can fight and can lead, and that's it. That would be better. I'm glad I said this because it's been pissing me off for fucking years. Moving on. <laughs> what I mean by moving on is going back to some more shit that they said because apparently there's a fourth rule about ninjas and, and about a uh, technique called uh, Byakugo. And I really like this situation because all the Okages are like, Oh my god, the Byakugo! We all heard about this important. But Mother's like, never heard of it. And I'm like, yes! Because none of us fucking have. Because Kishimoto is pulling out more fuck out his asshole. I wonder how wide it is. Does he butt plug? I don't know what the fuck is going on, but shit. After a boring ass fight later, the results to Madara just kicking Tsunade's ass. I'd like to talk about a pointless fucking character in this series. You mean all of them? Yes, but you know, this one more hit is a little more useless. As you know, um, uh, Kabuto and whoever the real bad guy is have been bringing back a lot of these characters from the dead. And that in itself is actually a pretty cool idea, but more for plot convenience. And one of these characters that was brought back is Dan, and Dan is Tsunade's lover if you've forgotten. And my question is, why the fuck are you here? What is your purpose? You had no importance other than uh, giving Tsunade kind of a, a semi-important and interesting backstory to explain why she can no longer heal people being afraid of blood and losing the people she loves. You know, that was your importance. Why are you here? You had no powers. You have no bloodline limits of any kind to serve as, as any importance. I don't know who got your body when you died, and really, why are you here? It's the same thing with, uh, with Asuma. Like, why was he brought back? He was not a particularly strong fighter. Um, the Satotobi clan has no bloodline limits. Nothing. His death served nothing to the series at all, probably to give uh, Shikamaru and the team more screen time, even though 
Kishimoto loves showing off his favorite character and just giving him all this crap even without any real fucking plot development. But anyways, why is Dan here? Some You guys tell me in the comment below, why is Dan here? Why was he brought back? What purpose does he fucking serve? Why is it it's always the first or second Hokage that is the one that can fix problems? I don't understand. Dan is explaining that the Madara can only lose by the first Hokage. Why? It didn't work the last time. And these past Okages, they're supposed to be really powerful, and I guess they're special since they're always constantly taking their DNA and using that as an excuse for power. But they're dead. It's over. Get the fuck over it. Can we move on to something more interesting and something that makes some sense? Fucking hell. And the last fail here is another failed attempt at immortality by Kabuto saying, You can't stop the jutsu if you kill me. It won't do anything. Ha 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 ha. Laugh and... And Itachi, I love Itachi, right? This guy basically is, he's taking my mood and transcending it to the rest of the world. He's like, jeez. Like, he's just like how I feel and like every other Naruto hater feels. We feel the same fucking way, bro. Anyways, guys, that is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed that, even though it's hard to enjoy Naruto, especially when... You know, it's complete shit. I, on the other hand, I'm going to keep enjoying reading all my awesome manga because a lot of the volumes are finally translated for Legend of Mayan. The new chapter of Kenichi finally came out. I'm really excited about that. And holy shit, and I'm happy with that. Anyways, this is Dragon's Blue saying Ceylon and keep enjoying the fails. And one more thing. I'm considering making a Bleached Fails of the Week because if you cause you guys have watched my free, my previous videos on what I... The, this is pretty much the end of Bleach in my... Mind and I'll probably upload another video on Bleach soon. I don't know what Bleach. I think Bleach is done. I think the manga is is just finished. I, th I to me it, it ended like like 40, 50 chapters ago. Uh, the anime is done for, and there's more problems on the way. So I might just make it, start making fun of the chapters till the very end, because I don't know Bleach is kind of dead to me. That could probably that's probably gonna piss a lot of people off, but just give me your opinions anyway, guys.